Uh, from the stoop to the coop. Yeah. Money stacked from the floor through the roof. Yeah. Santana get loose like a tooth. I just want this day to be over. First, I lose close to three dollars on the poker table. Then the damn horse throws me. Puto caballo. Si lo encuentro, le meteré un tiro por la sien. I told my brother that horse was trouble the minute I laid eyes on it. Oh, anyway, I'll shut up. I'm sure you don't want to listen to my complaining. Pasaré el día borracha, eso seguro. Okay, thank you again. Watch out for your horse there. Got the same look in its eye that mine did. Here, this is for you. I'm a marshal, so my jurisdiction ends at the city limits. Even if the town in question is a no-good dump like Van Horn. I go in there, I got even less rights than you do. Any decent hoodlum knows that. Montez is in there. At least I think he is. Or some of his boys are in there. So. He's in there, Mr. Marshal, like I told you. This is Josie Dawson. He's in there or his boys are. Hold up in my saloon. We'll, we'll get your saloon back. Or they will. Thank you kindly. Now, the others said there'll be more coming down from up north. They's talking about some folks killed Jorge Montez. Oh, you go... Well, that was us. You go see if you can find the bastard. Or kill some of his men as they head into town. Do both. Just don't get caught by any law. What you're doing is highly illegal. Highly moral, too. So in my book, it's okay. I just can't do it myself. Good luck. Well, I made some food if you're hungry. Oh, yes, ma'am. That would be mighty fine. Oh, hey, uh, I heard from your friend, Mr. Horley. Uh, he said his mistress really needs something and wanted me to remind you to meet him south of Armadillo. He said that would make sense to you. Anyway, you should get going.
Justice will be mine. Let's ride! You get all those men okay? I bet you did. Guess we return the city of Van Horn to the bunch of degenerates that call it home. <laughs> Don't matter that it weren't Montez. It was almost as bad as him. And deserving of what they got. When we're done, he won't have a friend left in three states. <laughs> yeah. This is a job like any other, but... I ain't gonna pretend to you that I don't enjoy aspects of it. Alfredo Montez is a right, proper bastard. You met his man. Certainly met his brother. <laughs> well, he's a damn sight worse. Today, we're gonna make sure he gets his due. First off, Montez survives this. We get a rope around his hands, we put him on the back of a horse. Second off, his people go. The horse says we need one man on the gallows to come with me. One will survive. And third, that's all there is to say. Hit them hard and make it ugly. I'm sure as hell want to leave a mark. <laughs> Up ahead. Remember, Montez survived. The rest don't. Let's take this caravan. <laughs> It's been quite a time chasing you, my friend. I know you. I will kill you. I think that's unlikely. A whole lot more likely is you're gonna have your neck broken while these folks here watch and laugh and 
Say what a nasty bastard. We you were. shall see. A thousand dollars to whoever sets me free. Well, these folks here have something money can't buy. <sighs> Honor, dignity, and a sense that not everything is for sale. And they are as foolish as you. And they are. But they're still getting paid a fair price for a job well done. Take better care of their valuables.
Um, did, did Mrs. T send you? No? Uh, well, it's quite a long story. Uh, uh, quite dull. The truth is, I just can't take it anymore. Oh, no, that's not the truth. I don't know the bloody truth. I'm lost. I'm a lost soul, my friend. She's a wonderful woman. I love them all. I'm just... I don't know what I am. That's the problem. But I need your help. It's perfectly legal. Well, that's a fib. It should be perfectly legal. It's horse flesh. Valuable horse flesh owned by awful people. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite, wretched person, owns a wonderful horse. And I know someone who will pay top dollar for it. If you were to steal it from her groom at Braithwaite Manor and deliver it to these funny horse traders in Scarlet Meadows. Well, is that a yes? Well, off you go then. Bon voyage. Oh, hey! Hey! Don't worry. Uh, it's all right. No such thing as a stranger here. <laughs> uh, Timmy! Come on! Down there. Uh, we got company. See? I told you I heard something. <laughs> well, ain't this a rare treat. <laughs> Are you hungry? There's some stew in the pot. Someone let his plate go cold, didn't he? Well, now, I wonder just how I got so distracted, sweetie pie. Stop it. <laughs> Hey, I figure we got ourselves a strong, silent type here, Bray. Might be just the person we need for, you know what. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Uh -oh. I think you might be right. You see, there's some folk who done us wrong, some bad folk. Took advantage of our warm hospitality and disrespected Tammy here. And then just gone away. What do you think with the extra curve? Mmm, yeah. Mm, that is nice. Mm. Real silky. 
Uh, now, we're just simple farmers, but uh, someone like yourself might see fit to apprehending said folk and return them here to us for some reckoning of the situation. Well, we pay them real well. And we can be real grateful. Oh. Now, last we heard, uh, they was fixing to take a stagecoach north from San Denis towards Van Horn. Well, I think that's a yes. <laughs> Ain't this just a day to be thankful for? You know what? I think I'm gonna finish off the stew. <laughs> oh, it'll be stone cold by now. Oh, nonsense. Well, I would eat your meat off a dirty floor, princess. You know that. Mm. <laughs> mm. For you to be sensible. Oh, I am being sensible. I swore I would kill them, each and every one of them. From the way I see it, I will do. I'm afraid my mind's made up. But Mrs. Leclerc, Teddy Brown, he's just a second-rate common no-good horse thief. You kill him and the rest of his boys, well, you wind up in jail, or worse. And we will never find out who killed your husband. You know it, and I know it. I believe Teddy Brown killed my husband. If he did so, he did it on behalf of his sister, her husband, or Jeremiah Shaw. Perhaps, Besides, but... he's holed up in there, besieged by marshals. Marshals? What good did a marshal ever do anyone? That's why we'll send in our professionals to get the job done, and no one will know you had anything to do with it. It's too early to show your hand, madam. Okay. You, come with me. And remember, these are the people that put you in jail. So don't overly concern yourself with pity. Madam, stay here. Please. Come on, we gotta go. Now, I know you're willing to do good and bad as it suits you. 
maybe that's everyone's right. Maybe it's the right way to be. You seem to live by your own rules. In some ways, I admire that. Although maybe at times you seem a touch confused? Confusing? I don't know. But I hope, either way, good, bad, or plain indifferent, after all she has done for you, that you will be loyal to my mistress. Kill Teddy Brown, not out of vengeance or righteousness, but out of duty to her, compassion for her. Thinks he got away with taking my master and taking your freedom. Show him he hasn't. It's what you owe. Brown's shown himself to be a desperado, more than his other three conspirators. Wears a gun on his hip like the one that shot my master. Dangerous. And he's made himself very hard to kill. You get close enough and you'll see. I've tried to make the fight somewhat even. Then just wait till we get there, okay? The marshal and his men were in hot water when I left them. Pushed off their guns and almost out of the fight. Let's hope things have improved. There's the fort. Up here. Come on. They were on the other side of this. Think about what you're messing with. Are you getting on, Marshal? Well, that bastard is holed up tight as he can be. I've already had two men shot since last we spoke. That's too bad. Luckily, I brought in the cavalry, so to speak. You have, huh? Yes. My associates. And what's more, I think I found a way of ensuring they don't get themselves shot. Like your deputies. Put those on. Teddy Brown is a bad man. One of the worst. But there's folk in Blackwater, powerful folk, who asked my boss to get me to leave him alone. I can imagine. Amos Lansing and Jeremiah Shaw, perhaps? You know, I don't know. Maybe. My lord, look at you. I read about this. Australian, I believe. Always wanted to see if it works. My friends, let me take you up. Come on. Bring us Teddy Brown. Dead or alive. The armor's gonna slow you down, but God knows how Teddy Brown's gonna pay for this. You'll be sorry for this!